So here's an example of, honestly, I didn't write the whole problem down. I just wrote the interesting part down. This is an exponential growth problem. It talks about insects. So I'm going to talk about how I would translate this to an equation. The number of insects doubles. That's a very important word. Every five days, and there are 100 insects on the first day. So doubling means right away, I know it's a doubling time problem. So the population at time t is equal to my initial population times 2, because it's a doubling time, times um, t over some constant. So all I need to do, this is a doubling time problem, so I know there's a 2 there. All I need to do is find the initial population and the amount of time it takes to double. Well, 5 days is the amount of time it takes to double. 100 insects is my initial population. So, 100 insects, 2 to the t over 5. That's the equation. All right. Now I can use this equation to solve things. For example, I could say how many insects, 3 days later. And I would just plug in t equals 3, and I don't know, I'd get some number. So if I were to do this on my handy dandy calculator, 100 times 2 to the 3 over 5 is 151.57. We can't really have 151.5 insects, so I'm going to call that about 152 insects. What is the daily percent growth rate? Okay, so what I want to do is transform this, well this, into something to do with growth rate. Wow, okay, so I want to transform this to that. So what I'm going to do is set them equal and I'm going to solve for, for um, r. So 100 times 2 to the t over 5 is equal to 100 times 1 plus r to the t. First thing I'm going to do is divide by 100. So t to the 2 fifths is equal to 1 plus r to the t. Hmm, well, I'm trying to solve for r. So I am going to take this to the 1 over t power so that I would multiply my exponents and just have 1 plus r. So 2 to the t over 5 to the 1 over t, well, 1 over t, would be 2 to the 1 fifth is 1 plus r, and then I'm just going to subtract 1 from both sides, so r is 2 to the 1 fifth minus 1. 